Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about another useful library of Python for data science that is SciPy. So let's go to code. So as the name suggests, SciPy stands for Scientific Python and it is a library that works very closely with NumPy to give you scientific capabilities in Python. So just like NumPy, first of all, if you want to check if a library is present in Python or not, you try to import it. So, in our case, the import works. That means SciPy is there. Now, let's check the version of SciPy. So, it says that the version of SciPy is 1.3.1. .1. But actually, in this course, we are looking for a version of SciPy as version of SciPy. So, we want 1.4.1 .1 in this course. To fix this issue, what you can do is, you can simply create a new cell. So remember I told you initially that you can use exclamation to run commands on the terminal or command prompt. And we also know, and we also know that you can use command like say pip install scipy to install scipy, right? So there's also a trick to this command, which is if you want to install a specific version of scipy, you can just say pip install scipy and you can do the syntax equal to equal to 1.4.1. Let's run this command. So it says collecting scipy. So now it will take some time because it's downloading this version of scipy. So now it is uninstalling the old version and it has successfully installed the new version of scipy 1.4.1. So let's check the version again. One minute. Because we have installed it recently, we need to restart the kernel. So let's restart the kernel. Now let's import SciPy again. This time we don't need to execute this cell because it's already installed. So I'll just comment it out and I'll check the version of SciPy. Now, as you can see, we have the exact correct version of SciPy. So this trick is very really useful that you can just use exclamation then use pip install then the library name equal to equal to the version you want and if you want to check what versions there are then you can always go to the documentation page of library and see what are the versions available so scipy gives you a couple of useful features some of the common and most useful features are for example you can compute the derivative of a function so you can do differentiation so this is the function and the equation we have is x square plus x plus 1 and you can use the derivative function from the scipy.misc package and in this function you pass the function and you pass the value of x at which you want to differentiate this so at x not equal to 2 you know by high school mathematics the x square plus x plus 1 actually becomes 2x plus 1 once you differentiate it so when you're passing the value of 2 so as you can see I got this error when I try to run this line of code it says name derivative is not defined can you guess why this is the case this is because I did not run this cell before running this cell so if I have not imported derivative at all how can I call the derivative function so let's run this cell before and when I run this again I get the output so this is a silly mistake that you should also be careful of when you're actually programming in Jupyter Notebook that first you need to import the right libraries only then you can use them and execute all the cells in the right order so we get the value of 5 and we know that this is the equation after derivative this is the f dash x you put value 2 so it becomes 2 into 2 plus 1 5 so this works similarly you can calculate the second derivative and you can do a lot more so this was derivation using scipy Apart from that, you can also calculate permutations and combinations. So 4c2 is 6 and 4p2 is 12 using scipy. Here we have used the com function and here we have used the perm function. Then you can also do good amount of linear algebra from scipy also. So you have to import the linear algebra module from scipy which is lin alg we have also imported the numpy so using numpy we created this matrix and suppose you want to calculate the determinant of this matrix 
so using lin alg module of scipy you can use the det function to calculate the determinant of this matrix this is the determinant similarly you can calculate the inverse of this matrix and you get the idea so this was scipy in a nutshell let's go to the documentation of scipy select the scipy reference guide so these many tasks you can perform using scipy things like signal processing integration optimization special functions interpolation fourier transform and a lot of other stuff and if you click on one of these things you can actually go inside and see what are the functions that you have available for each of these tasks and they've also given pretty good tutorials so this was scipy